fishing friends to another adventure. Whoo, I've been here quite a few times. Normally I'm fishing right up on the edge of the water there. But you can see the flooding has got everything all out of whack. So, but I'm gonna kind of wait in here a little bit and see what we can come up with fishing wise. Or maybe over here or over there a little bit. I'll come up with a plan. First things first, I'm going to start with the swim jig. Hey, if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. My name's Alan, and I love fishing and making fishing videos. See how it goes. Just throwing a big Joshi swim bait right now. Kind of like a little search bait. Yep, that looks good in the water. I'm standing about like maybe five inches of water. Yeah, if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by and supporting. Oh yeah, that's heavy current. I can feel it on my boots, that current. So you got northern pike in here, there's muskie, walleye. Smallmouth bass. It's probably good to float a tube in here too. But this little bait is super visible. Just got a little ball head jig. Hopefully we'll, we'll get something. Got a little rattle trap I can throw also, but <clears throat> we're gonna stick with this for now. All right, guys, we're hooked up on a rattle trap. I think it's actually a rattle spot. Let's check it out and see what it is. Ooh, it looks like a, a nice walleye. Man, I hadn't caught one of these since last year. This will be my PB walleye for sure. Check that out. Boy, that is my PB walleye. guys for the release uh -oh, uh -oh. there you go there he goes just took him a bit to get calibrated Boy, he went out of the water for that long, just enough for me to measure. There he, he almost jumped out of the water there. 18, so that ties my PB. All right, guys, with the sun coming up, 
little bit higher in the sky. I use this bass mooch. And this stuff smells great. It's easy to keep in my tackle bag. It's a great product. I'm not sponsored by anybody. I'm not looking for any sponsors, but that's pretty much it. Let me show you what I caught that eye on. A little rattle trap. So a little rattle spot. They're all similar. A little silver, blue back. Just firing it out there. I'm surprised nothing hit on the little big Joshy. All right, guys, you can see the, oh, there's tons of minnows right in front of me. You can see the flash on this because of the sunlight. Oh yeah, there's minnows all around me. So essentially, I just fired it out there and just started slow retrieve. I didn't do any yo-yoing like I normally do with them. This might be a good spot to throw a, a MEPS with a forward-facing sonar minnow combo with it. inches that ties my PB for a walleye. Thought I had a little hit there. Air temperature is really, really nice, guys. It's like in the low 70s. Such a peaceful spot here. On this one, I'm using my St. Croix Mojo, six foot eight, 20 pound braid, 20 pound fluoro. Uh oh. And I get this caught up on the tip. 
Are you kidding me? And my lure is going to float away. And it's going to get lost. There we go. So I'm running 20 and 20. The reason I do that is because of toothies. So on this, I check to make sure I didn't have any fraying after I caught that walleye. So I'm good there. A lot of guys will use like a steel leader if there's pike around. And sometimes I will, sometimes I won't. Anywhere between uh, a six and 18 inch leader. 18 inch leaders we've had before for these big pike with only like three inches sticking out of it. Oh, I thought that was a strike. I kept getting thump, thump, thump. So you think 18 inch leader is too big? Well, we had just a couple inches to spare on a pike that my cousin caught. But a lot of times I'll just use 12. Feeling some thumps in there. It's got to be cabbage and junk in the water. Ooh, I just saw the dorsal of a fish come up out of the water. Holy cow. What on earth was that? Right in there. All right, guys, we're hooked up in that same spot where I saw that dorsal. This one, I'm going to let it play out a little bit. not it's another walleye and he's barely hooked barely hooked come on quit snacking around here You gonna help me measure him? He's about 19 inches. Ooh, that's my new PB. Thanks for measuring him for me. All right, guys, a new PB, 19 incher. She'll let me know when she's ready. There she goes. Boy, that guy was really nice to help me out. I keep seeing where the fish are uh, congregating there. So he was kind enough to measure that one for me. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with walleye and I know they're slippery like a pike. So the glove was key there. Well, I'm gonna have to retire this rattle spot. Uh, don't worry, I got tons of them. See, the thing is, walleyes have excellent vision. Their eyes are weird, and so there's no doubt that they can see this. The guy was telling me that there's musky in here. And uh, he was really nice to give me a hand measuring that he said 19 i have to go back and check the footage but so an 18 just 
just over 18 and a 19. That's my new PB for a walleye. Yeah, they're kind of a sensitive fish, so I don't want to monkey around too much with taking pictures and goofing around with that. I think we're hooked up, guys. Yep, we're hooked up. This whole rattle spot. Oh, and he came off. He freaked out when he got to the tree. Oh, man. That was definitely a walleye. Jeez Louise. Just bringing it through real slow. I got water in my boots. <laughs> Look at all the minnows swimming around my feet. You see them down there? Oh, they're all like right on my boots. Wow, that's interesting. Never had that happen before. This color is the money color right here. I was thinking about switching to test some other lures, but I'm not going to with this thing's being this hot. Yeah, I didn't want to horse that last one in, but I learned something there. He gets caught in the current, gets close to the tree, freaked out. Look at all the minnows. They're still all around my boots. I'm to have a crappie swim in here and get them mouth come up and hit right in front of me I don't know if he's chasing the minnows or not but right there I saw him come up on the surface maybe it was a dragonfly I was trying to get Look what I got, guys. <laughs> he hit like right in front of me. He's chasing those little minnows. It's a little smallmouth. Come on, put your 
passing out. Boy, that was a lot of trouble there. All right, check him out, just a little guy. He was swimming right in here and hit it. One thing, <laughs> look at all the minnows. One thing is, if I bring it in real slow, it's been working. All right, guys, I think we're hooked up. It's hard to tell it yet if I'm hooked up in the current. Everything gets all wacky. Get away from the tree. Get away from the tree. There we go. That's a nice fish right there. There's my club, they're so slippery. Let's see. Uh, to measure I'm using this log. Where's my handy dandy net? Look at that. All right, so we'll get the measurement based on that. We'll get him back in the water. Check that out. It's a nice fish. There you go, buddy. Off he goes. It's just hanging right there. There he goes. Eighteen inches. Eighteen. Let me go get the handy dandy Ooh, camp mat. All right, guys. I got the handy dandy camp mat. So I'll be able to measure a little more accurately. Why I didn't bring that in the first place is beyond me. Well, this rattle spot has been getting the job done. The key is not to bring it to through too quick. The thing is, I don't even want to change lures. I was going to run a jackhammer through there. Uh, Smithwick. These guys think I'm crazy because, well, that one guy and another guy because I keep putting them back, but I'd rather see them live, you know? I know walleye's good eating if we were going to have like a big fish fry or something, then for sure. But rather just see him go. Sorry guys, I thought I had a fight right in there. I can feel it banging off the bottom down there. And then the way this thing rattles, that's for sure getting attention. It's a great little lure. Check out that Oliver going over the bridge. That is old school gold. 
That is cool. Ripplin Redfin, just because it needs a good little workout. I love throwing this bait. It's such a cool bait. Such a fun thing to throw. It has that, that unique body style. guys did you see that that was either a pike or a muskie just completely destroyed this holy cow I lost the lure oh my gosh what kind of fish was that just bang Instantly, yeah, I even had the drag set. All right, guys, nothing on the Smithwick. So I switched to a little shad wrap. Nothing on that. I'm switching to a six cents axis. This thing in the water moves like a knuckleball. So and then that blade is going to be perfect for this because of that that shine. gorgeous lure so we'll we'll see what kind of luck we have cast a country mile feels good. I think I forgot to put the dead cat on for wind wind coverage for the microphones. Six cents axis. He's hitting in the current. What? I lost him. How do I lose him? What the heck is going on here? I saw him jump. Oh. Man, that stinks. Get off. Rats. All right, guys, I'm throwing a MEP spinner. Old school, long tradition of river fishing lure. This one's an Agley, it's like a fire tiger. Almost a staple in the Midwest for fishing rivers. Boy, I'm pike like them too. Take a look at that, it's a size five. It's got the chartreuse on there. I've got my spot right where I'm landing it, where I was catching the other ones. Bringing it through not too fast. And the 
cool thing about it is it makes the noise it makes underwater and you can find videos on that MEPS puts it out of the sound so it's a whoop 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 and then once you stop it it gets dead silent and then you start it up again that's a lot of times how you trigger the fish to strike so crank 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 pause but you gotta watch out on the pause too because you don't want to get caught up in some snags when you do that good that looks in the water that's just absolutely lethal Gonna throw a jackhammer with a little Kalen's lunker grub on the back of it. I've been testing lures, maps, different jerk baits, nothing. Except for that one monster strike I had on the Ripplin red fin. lost to Smithwick on a snag so we'll, we'll see how this little guy does watched a big log come over the dam and it floated by and then it looked like there were two otters under the water playing over there I mean near the dam because I kept seeing these black balls or domes come up on the edge of the riprap there and then they'd go under and then they'd come back up so I think those were uh, a pair of otters but I don't know for sure I had a hit on this floating minnow. You get these in the bargain bin at Walmart, Cotton Cordell, and it just didn't stick. I felt the head shakes and then it was gone. It might have been a little bass that just whacked it. See how cool that looks in the water down there. All right, guys, so I moved up a little bit that way. Mixed results. It's like the sweet spot is right here. I moved this way a little bit. It's kind of iffy out there. I don't know, for some reason, this spot right here, it, it just works well. cast like a bullet too it's only like two dollars and 62 cents at walmart they have different colors of them and they go in runs like in my walmart this is the blue and white one up here in iowa the walmart 
it's like a bluegill color kind of greenish then at another walmart back home in texas i went to near where i teach they had a black and white one and they even have a purple one so there's different ones but they're not available on LureNet this size at the Cotton Cordell website they don't have those and if you try to find them on the Walmart website they're not even listed it's weird Cool little lure. So, what are the species that we've caught? We've caught a smallmouth and then walleye. And a ton of minnows swimming, be swimming between my legs. The sun's at a different angle. Oh yeah, they're, they're still there. I'm gonna better pay attention to what I'm doing here. Oh, look, I had a... Oh, it's just a snag. Sheesh! That thing is just so cool. Man, now this is gonna be a keeper. And I'm going to get all the colors. Just for like small creeks and things. Like I'm running this through here. What was that? And then she comes up and just floats. Guys, we're hooked up on this floating minnow. What the heck is this thing? It's a carp. <laughs> Check that out. <laughs> there he goes. Wow. He had this thing square in the mouth. It was just a carp. That was interesting. I should have reached down and picked him up, but you know how that's gonna go. Super slippery, water, chaos. Well, he hit it right there too. <laughs> that was insane. I was just doing my twitch, 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 twitch. Twitch, 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 and then it, it'll float, so I let it come up. Twitch. Crank, crank. So you, remember, you're dealing with current, so it's going to bring it towards you. So when you pause, when you pause, it's going to. Let me get some more slack here. So when you pause, it's going to push it along. If you do it the other way, it's going to back up. So that's pretty much the plan. And this thing is fun to throw in front of Walmart special. Twitch, twitch. Twitch, twitch. Twitch, twitch. 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 I thought that was a small mouth. And it, it, did you see it when it came up? The current was pulling in it, trying to float out into deeper water. That was kind of cool. I'll continue to do some more research on it. But I'll definitely keep checking and doing my research. No. No. It's a good thing that lure floats. This thing is 
just epic. All right, guys, we're hooked up, and this wasn't even in that deep of water. I was closer to the edge down there, bringing it in. I gotta be careful here because the current does all this wackiness. There's the tree. They don't like the tree. Ooh, did you see that jump? They don't like the tree. Ooh. They don't like the tree for sure. What is this? That's a smallie. Definitely a smallie. Check that out. Let's get him on the mat. The handy dandy camp mat. What's the deal here? There we go. Let's get this out of the way. Oh boy, his mouth is rough. 14. 14, not bad. Boy, and he was in shallow too, check that out. Man, that's a gorgeous fish right there. There he is on the floating minnow by Cotton Cordell, the Walmart special. There he goes. Man, that was cool. I was, I fired it further up in along the edge there and I was like, well, if it gets stuck, I could wander over there and pop it out. Let's take a look at it. Guys, if you're ever doing any kind of river fishing or anything, get one of these canvas mats don't put your stuff on top of your lures. Those are drying out. But this mat is handy. I made a little measuring thing there. There you can see some of the lures I was throwing, but here it is. Just a little Walmart special. It's in the bargain bin. They're usually on the bottom with the other Cotton Cordell stuff. Just a really cool lure. All right, now out of all the smallmouth I have caught this summer, that one had the roughest mouth on the bottom there. I mean rough. All right, right there's where I was casting. Right in there and I was just bringing them home. Are you kidding me, I got another one? <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. Oh, it's a little walleye. Check that out. Let's see if we can get the camera on there. The hat cam. He's a little fellow, but man, that was cool. In that one little spot there. Yep, I'm using the glove. These things are so slimy. There we go. These leather gloves, look at how gorgeous that fish is. See the eyes on him? Look at his sharp teeth. All right, there you go, buddy. Off you go. Guys, in that same spot along the edge there. It's a nice little small mouth. lure too right along that same stretch guys right in ooh, the wind got that one okay and that one was on the pause so I quit reeling ooh, that felt like a hit and he didn't get it 
man oh man these fish are so unpredictable One more lure I need to throw in here is a tube. I've caught fish in here on the tube before and I need just to do it. And a tube open hook, that's gonna be tricky. Man, this little lure, guys. Psh. This thing is just epic. Look at that. On that last one, the bill shook the bill clean off. Yep, this one's going into the Hall of Fame. I don't want to say shook it, but just wrecked it. I was wondering how come I wouldn't it wouldn't get down there like it had before. Now it's more just on the sur just under the surface. Yep, you're going to the Hall of Fame. I knew something didn't feel right. There it is, guys. Look at that cool blue on there. He's got a gash right there where the fish got him. Man, that thing is just epic. All right. To the retirement. Driftwood trophy that I still need to make. Maybe one more cast. We'll run her through there one more time. Well, that thing casts like a bullet too. still works you just don't feel the the vibration like when the bill was there still darts around all right let's switch it up let's get a tube and see what happens go it's just a black tube right there with an open hook this may be uh, interesting See what this tube looks like down here. Oh yeah, you can see it. It's a black tube, good color. Yeah, that's gonna work. It's on the Great Lakes finesse. Sneaky underspin with a forward-facing sonar minnow. I was running a maps through there and I couldn't catch anything. I run this little guy through here. And check it out, it's a little walleye. Man, it's good stuff right there. When he choked it. All right, there he is, right there. Can't tell what he's been eating. Just a little fella. Here you go. All right, so this is what it is. 
a yum forward facing sonar minnow on a little sneaky underspin by Great Lakes Finesse. Both of them, you can get them at LureNet. Same spot, just running it in the shallows there. Oops, do this one a little too wide. One thing with the forward-facing sonar minnow, they're great. I wish they had eyes on them, though. Because as Travis Manson once put it, everything down there has got eyeballs. There we go. Right there in that little run. I was hooked up on the bomber, the square bill, and I lost him. He gets into the current that couple of head shakes and he was gone. Dang it. I'm just banging it off the rocks down there nice and slow. Man, there we go. There was another hit and he didn't stay. Did you see my pole jump? Rats. It's a bomber square A in like a fire tiger color. Man. I got one? Nope. <clears throat> give you a close-up of this once I get this leaf off of it there it is square a from bomber Man, it's an epic little lure it's got a nice wobble to it and in this murky water it's a great color more runs with this and then I'm going to switch back to the rattle spot I just got hooked into somebody's fishing line so I had to cut that out with the little scissors those little clippers I got Ooh. so this is really rocky when I fished here before way down there by the dam you could walk down there and it was a lot of rock it's perfect for a square bill wasn't any water right where I'm standing pretty much all the way down guys right, so we're gonna wrap it up with this rattles so look at this it's banged up on the nose of it This guy's going to be retired. I'm going to fire a few more casts in there. Then it's time to go get some lunch and then figure out if I'm going to come back here after lunch. If I'm going to go 
go to another spot. What was that? So it is flooded, but the water has been going down. Can you imagine fishing that riprap along there? If you could get down there. The guy was saying it's really hard to get down there. It's almost impossible. Because it's just about a straight, straight drop. But that'd be kind of cool to scope that out. Crankbaits, give them a try. They're they're a lot of fun. I like these old school ones. Nothing wrong with the newer ones, but I just I don't know something about the old school ones I really like. Guys, I'm hooked up, and this thing is pulling drag. I don't know if it's current. Get him. He's too big. with this current. There he is, I see him. Sheesh. I finally got him around the tree. He's wearing out.
kidding me? It's a giant carp. And he's not even hooked in the mouth. It was crazy trying to get this dude up. One hook is all that was there. One hook. Ooh, jeez. Boy, he's all banged up. He's a fat one, that's for sure. Let's get a measurement. 23, 23 inch fatso. All right, we're gonna get you back into the water. Look at the size of this thing. Ooh, see, boy, that was, that took everything I had to get him in and around the tree in that current. Holy cow. That was pure chaos. And how was he hooked in the back? wild people are always talking about changing the hooks out on them but look these hooks are fine i think that stock hooks are great a lot of times people freak out and they're like that not that good they're this they're that now the front one i clipped off of there ages ago but man what a strange fight that was this little lure is going to go into the Retirement, for sure. I was running it through my usual spot. So that's what I've been seeing. The dorsal fins and stuff of this big carp. Well, geez, I thought I had either a pike or a walleye. Not my PB carp, but still a good one. All right, guys. Hey, thanks for hanging out with me today. This is a lot of fun. I hadn't been here in a couple years. Ooh. And I just had a dorsal fin come up right there. Problem is with this current, the fish could be anywhere. That was weird. Just right in there. I could see him come up and like turn. Sometimes carp like to do that. Eh. Thanks for hanging out with me on today's adventures. This is a fun day. And once again, if you're new to the channel, thanks for hanging out with me. I appreciate all the support. You know, I do this for fun. And so I have a little video library of my adventures you know it's like a diary and so i have a just a lot of fun doing these but thanks for hanging out with me today and until next time i will see you then bye bye now get out there and get your lures wet